Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a video on software defined radio application. I'm using my favorite software called SDR Angel. One of my favorite software called SDR Angel. Uh, I have my HackRF hooked in. Uh, and then we're going to look at some ADSB demodulation. I made several videos on it, but this one is going to be the clear version of it. Uh, because I was able to capture airplane information. I was working on it uh, earlier. So I have my hack RF. Uh, remember I made a video on ADSB uh, 1090 antenna that I received from China. Uh, I have actually plugged into my hack RF. So the first thing you need to do, just go to your receiving device. So go here, click here, and just uh, click on this refresh it and underneath this you will see an option called your hack rf so my hack rf is connected i'm going to click ok i'll get a screen like this i'll get two screens like these i'm going to change this frequency to 1090 because that's the frequency of your uh, adsb so i'm going to go here and i'm going to choose this to be 10 nine zero and I'm gonna hit play all right after I hit play I'll get this I want to increase my LNA a little bit and also VGA which is my variable gain amplifier once I do that I'll go to this I'm gonna add a channel once I add a channel I will see an ADSB there are a lot of channels you can add but for ADSB I'm gonna add an ADSB channel once I add my ADSB channel, I'll get a screen that looks something like this. All right. So I'm going to hit close and I'm going to minimize this, not minimize this. I'm going to actually make it smaller and I'll bring this screen up. Now, I'm going to wait for it for, for some of the airplanes to come and pop up on my screen. And we probably have to wait for some time. If I have to wait for longer, I'll just continue this video. I'll pause it and I'll just continue this. So this is basically, you can either have your RTL SDR dongle connected to it, or you can use any software defined radio platform that has a receiving capability. So in our, in my case, I'm using HackRF. Uh, I ordered a new RTL SDR dongle. I should be receiving this. So <clears throat> I'll be doing practicals on that as well. So it's all about now. It's all about waiting. I have my enough, my LNA. You can increase your LNA a little bit, low noise amplifier and VGA. And uh, you will start seeing different information related to the planes that my antenna is seeing. So you got to understand this, that I am right now indoors. Uh, probably if I'm outdoors, I'll get a better signal or something like that. So if I have to pause this video, uh, let's say I'm going to wait for a couple more seconds and I'm going to pause this video and what I'm going to do and I'm going to come back to it until I see some information related to the planes that I'm seeing using my ADSB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this right now. So as you can clearly see, I got uh, singles plane information. So you can just click on it. You can see a lot of information that is there. Uh, for example, you can see the call sign. If you can see this. And uh, you can look at an aircraft information, the country, the altitude, uh, the speed, I believe, velocity, VR in feet per meter, and things like that. You can see the registration number. What is the category of the plane? Uh, and a lot of information, longitude, latitude, uh, all that information, when it was updated, at what time, what were the frames and things like that. So there was a lot of information that you can get from this. And because you got to remember this, ADSBs, uh, these signals are actually unencrypted. So a plane can communicate with the air traffic control tower. And this is how you're going to demodulate this information. So all the necessary information that you need will be here and you can you can click here to download the aircraft database. You can click here. 
you can download the airport database and things like that and you can just double click on it it will show you the plane on the map you can clearly see this plane is moving I think it's about to fly so it's on the runway as you can clearly see it's making a move and you can see the flight information as well now the information just disappeared here we go and you can play with this map and you can actually see this so, so that's the idea uh, that's the call sign you can see the plane moving on this video uh, if you have your RTL SDR dongle connected, uh, so make sure your SAMP rate should be under 2 or 2.4, depends on what kind of a dongle it is. Mine is HackRF. HackRF supports a SAMP rate up to like 8 mega to 10 mega samples per second. Uh, but that's why I've chosen this to be around 4. So this is how you do it. Um, if you can wait for a few, few more seconds, we can get some other information as well. Uh, by just clicking on it, we can... Uh, or you can just download the database of your airplane you will see a plane picture who's the manufacturer of it and it will when you click on that plane picture it will take you to the plane plotter website and that plane plotter website will give you all the information about the plane as well so this is how you do it uh, this is how you use SDR Angel along with your software defined radio platform to actually decode ADSB information uh, if you're living if you're close by an airport and things like that, uh, you'll get more information, more flight information, how busy that airport is based on that. So I hope you like this small tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.